वेलकम एवरीवन टू कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू फेडो एज अ टीनेजर हेयर इज हाउ यू कैन टू सो लेट मी शेयर माय स्क्रीन ओके इट इज शेयरिंग सो लेट्स प्रेजेंट सो द थिंग इज आई एम हैविंग अ लिटिल कनेक्शन एट माय साइड सो हु हु एवर इज द मॉडरेटर हेयर इफ आई डिस्कनेक्ट बाय एनी मिस्टेक सो कैन यू काइंडली लाइक स्पीक about i have disconnected uh, yeah i mean i did so that's it so let's start welcome everyone to contributing to fedo as a teenager here's how you can do uh, i am nasir hussain uh, i am a 15 years old fedo user floss enthusiast and from pakistan and i'm also contributing to the fedo app project on Fedora Core's the i3 window managers uh, special interest group the join special interest group and some other teams like mindshare and diversity and inclusion etc uh i am a pythonista and a gopher so i also work on python and go python at my day job uh, i work at uh, i work as an engineering intern at sasta ticket pakistan uh, so here's my twitter handle it's at the it and score nasir hm and score So let's move. So what we are going to be talking about today is about my journey in Fedora project and how I started with contributing, because I started out as a Google Code in participant. So I'm going to be talking about a little bit about that and life after Google Code in, then a little bit about the why diversity and inclusion matters in FOSS and Fedora and uh, the Fedora DNI team diversity and inclusion, and then. Uh, here's how you can contribute so if anyone here is a fedora beginner uh, we, i'm going to introduce you to fedora join sig and uh, you can come and chat with us at our communication channels in order to become a, in order to get onboarded with fedora so let's start uh my fedora journey so it started out around in 2019 when i was around 14 and uh, when i uh, i i wanted to install linux on my laptop and uh, i installed fedora because i had used a lot of distros and did a lot of distro hopping in the beginning uh, like i have used almost all the major linux distributions from uh, debian debian ones to red hat ones so uh, i thought to try out fedora at that time on my laptops and uh, what i did was uh, google code in was announced at that time and fedora was a uh, organization there so i was pretty sure that it is fedora and then i made some my first steps in fedora world like creation of your fedora account system id and the pegu account it was actually a task in google code in by alisha mohante freaky mortal so uh, she was the one who created a task about fast id and that's where i got started to know that this is what fast is and uh, a service is like pegu which is a git uh, git uh, git forge for fedora so this was like pretty early steps in fedora i didn't know how everything works what is a linux distro i always thought that Lin- uh, linux distros are more like um, just the installer keyword is changed in fedora it's dnf in the uh debian or ubuntu world it's apt so i always thought both are similar but after understanding that how linux distros work now i know how things work inside uh and life after code google code in was pretty interesting because once i knew how things work a little bit in fedora and then i got to know that fedora 31 is also released and uh, uh fedora has something called release parties in which you organize a local release party about a fedora release uh, what's new or uh, for outreach for fedora so i organized my first uh, fedora 31 release party in karachi pakistan after that i saw a lot of newcomers there who wanted to become a part of fedora and the best way was to point them towards fedora join sig uh, so this is what i did and then i joined the fedora join sig as a member to improve the newcomer experience and everything and after that when i had when i joined the join sig i was able to gain a lot of experience with working with different uh, teams and sigs in fedora that how the infrastructure works was a distro how a distro creation works and everything 
so i started exploring different teams and uh, tried to contribute back so it was uh, first of all i started with the documentation then mindshare committee then some like writing tasks for mindshare committee or documentation then a little bit of community operations work and then i started eventually as i got familiar with the infant code side i started with my little code patches uh, in coes and other parts where i contribute and then I, after some time i am currently working in the diversity and inclusion team as well along with the uh, i3sig i am maintaining the i3sig respin currently and uh, a little bit of tutorial section of the fedora core site so this is how what my journey looks like i was a google code in participant and then i tried to get involved within fedora organized a fedora release party i even gave a talk about fedora and foss in uh, the release party and then i tried to explore different teams in fedora and selected some teams which i would like to get started to work on and i worked with join sig my diversity and inclusion team i3 sig and fedora coos now so as you can see the journey was pretty long like it was around uh, for it was around like eight, six or eight, ma eight months now but what made the journey fun because if the journey isn't fun then i believe you or anyone won't continue for that period of time so in the at the time of gci i was able to have some awesome mentors and uh, who later became friends within fedora so this is what the most important aspect about fedora is it's all about it's mostly about the people that we have and the community we have in fedora and the second thing that made the journey fun and exciting was you always have some good first issues available and they are like well documented to easily fix them in order to get you familiar with the code base because those developers who are maintaining that project they can easily fix that but they try to well document that so we can have more contributors and more people uh, getting started with that project so you can one thing in fedora you would find is that we have very well documented easy fixes and there's always something exciting for you to work on so fedora is too when i started out i felt like fedora is too big and it is and as it's too big there's all there would always be something exciting for you to work on so you just have to explore different uh, aspects of fedora different teams and you would find something that you would like to work so this is what made my journey fun and exciting some awesome friends and mentors good first issues and there's something exciting for you to work on and this was my journey within fedora how i got started and uh, what i currently do so I'm going to be talking about a little diversity and inclusion, why it matters in the context of free and open source along with Fedora. So why diversity matters? Like when we have a non-diverse group of people working on the same project, we all kind of have the same thoughts or the same way of thinking. But when we get uh, help or get involvement from different, uh, from a diverse, uh, from from people who are from diverse backgrounds, we can improve our projects by getting new ideas. And, and like there, there's a whole amount of research on diverse teams that function better than non-diverse teams just because they have a lot of ways to think. And everyone can, everyone brings something new to the table and a new ways to solve problems, new ways to think about problems. It can be anything. And, uh, we can learn a lot like we can learn a lot from the ideas and perspectives and what they think about uh, some with some people who are like us and who are different from us in many ways like if they are from diverse backgrounds they would have different ideas different perspectives and different ways of thinking so you can learn about that and improve yourself as well and uh, so in order to uh, improve diversity and inclusion and foster diversity and inclusion within Fedora community. We have a Fedora diversity and inclusion team, uh, which works on like here, you can see we organize Fedora Women's Day every year. We try to organize a speaker non English language session. 
or we generate video content to uh, spread awareness about diversity and in Fedora. And like we try to connect people with different backgrounds and we talk about in different things. And here's the image if you can see this one that Fedora unites us all with open source. Like these are people from very diverse backgrounds, very diverse ways of working and thinking, and they all work together within Fedora. So the work that I do within Fedora is about documentation and organizing things in the issue tracker. So uh, what things are we working on, which needs to be focused at the moment, and which we uh, things we can work on later and managing all that stuff. And why do I work with Fedora diversity and inclusion team is like I can I get to meet a lot of people from diverse backgrounds and whom we I wouldn't meet in my day to day job. So if you would like to chat with us, you can join us at hashtag Fedora Fedora minus diversity on Freenode. And we are also bridged with Telegram at the Fedora diversity and that that's a bridge between IOC and Telegram. So this is the work that I do within the Fedora diversity and inclusion team. And this is the work that Fedora D and I do. This is an awesome infographic that was created by Smeva Goel, who is an outreach intern about from for the Fedora design team. She was having a exciting sessions later. Do visit that. You are going to learn a lot about Fedora design and badges design. So let's say like this is this was the work that I was doing within Fedora, how I started the work that I do. Now I'm going to be talking about how you can get started with Fedora. So there we have a special interest group or a team in Fedora that works on improving the newcomer experience and trying to structureize the process, how we can uh, onboard newcomers and direct them towards the things they want to work on. So the Fedora join stage is like a special the interest group which um, maintains like chance to engage newcomers within the community. You can chat with us at uh, Fedora join on Freenode and join Fedora on Telegram. So the work that I do here is like the only thing that I work, mostly I work on is uh, finding ways to improve the newcomer experience in Fedora. Because what we have is we have a process to formally introduce people within Fedora and I'm, I work on improving that experience for newcomers and making it more engaging, more fun. And uh, I help with onboarding newcomers. I run and help in organizing classrooms. So uh, in the past year, we have conducted six classrooms on containers, container images, creating Fedora badges, Fedora Silver Blue, uh, Localization 101, L uh, Latex. So these are all available on the Fedora YouTube channel. Do visit that. You're going to learn a lot from them as well. So I try to run uh, mm, the classrooms and help in organizing them. And I maintain some docs within the Fedora join sig as well with the welcome side of things. So why I work with the join sig because after code uh, Google code in, I didn't get to go through the process that we currently have. And that was a little hard for me to uh, get started with Fedora without that. So uh, I was a newcomer too, and I faced some hurdles which I would like that the newcomers who are coming within the Fedora community, uh, they shouldn't face that. So uh, we are working on a welcome process. We have a welcome process and I try to improve. We are working on improving that and how can we uh, make it more fun and exciting. So uh, let's take an example of a Fedora contributor. Here's a badger who thinks that they would like to contribute to the Fedora project. And when you would see the Fedora organization chart, which provides you the overview of the things that we do. So you are going to find things like operating system developer, translation, web development, content writing. Are you a people's person? You are a designer. And for me, it was like I can work with most of these things. So where to get started? Like even I was confused that we have all of these things in Fedora. And where should I get started? So we have a Fedora join sig here. What you can do is you can talk to us. We provide like we have someone we have we mostly have someone present on the channel. So to help you and uh, make 
to help you understand uh, these things and you can provide our, your introduction there and we can point you towards the things that you would that you could be interested in working on so this is our welcome process that we are currently working on so if you are confused talk to us within the join sig we are going to create a welcome to fedora ticket for you to keep track of your progress and have some progress checks on you that if you, that did you find something interesting to work on every bi weekly or tri weekly you can chat with us or post your introduction on the mailing list and we can follow up on the conversation there uh, so we have a mailing list uh, within the fedora uh, it's fedora join at list.fedoraproject.org uh, here's the url uh, on if you are on relate uh, irc it's fedora join on free node on telegram it's uh, join fedora uh, it's bridged with an irc channel if you are using matrix or element or any matrix client it's free node and square fedora join at, ma at matrix home server dot uh, matrix dot org so this is how you can get started with Fedora. If you are confused, you can talk to us here and we are going to uh, formally introduce you to Fedora and uh, provide you some pointers where you could be interested to work on. So this was all from my side. Thank you very much for attending. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Uh, uh, Hey, Dusty, thank welcome. So, does anyone have any questions? Uh, no questions for me. Uh, thank you, Dusty. Uh, thank you, Jose. Uh, so what I'm going to do is post the links here with of the mailing list and the the uh, uh, communication channels along with my slides. So if anyone would like to follow, uh, so Dusty, we do uh, we do get uh, contributors from like a wide variety of locations, even from locations which I haven't heard names of before so it's more like uh, we tend to get a lot of people uh, get introduced with the welcome to fedora project and it's uh, not it's from for certain regions it's mostly it's nowadays mostly from india but uh, or the uh, asia pacific region but i'm not sure on that one <laughs> It's mostly APAC region or the uh, America side of things, mostly. Uh, so I'm going to be posting links. Can I have any blog posts or other research? So uh, Harsh, uh, we do have a blog post about uh, Welcome to Fedora. So it, uh, share, it tells you about the process that we have within Fedora, uh, like how can you get introduced, how can you create your FAS ID, the, your Pegu account, which is a git forge for Fedora, and we can like uh, move on with the formal uh, ticket creation of you and keep uh, following you up. So, uh, hello, I'm back. Sorry, uh, there was a little internet issue at my side because we don't have power uh, there are some power issues at my side. So, yeah, so uh, uh, with the link that Dusty shared, what can I do for Fedora is a good one. But we have a lot of abstract things there. If you would like to have a uh, hush for your question, uh, we have a, a blog post on Welcome to Fedora uh, about defining the uh, process on how we introduce people to Fedora. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to just find that and paste the link here. Uh, so, here it is. Welcome. This is our workflow. Yep, this one. So, this is the post uh, uh, that I would like to share. It's... Uh, it's it's about the welcome to Fedora process that we have within Fedora. 
and how can you get started with that where you can join where you can join the join sig so uh, plus one to alberto for the comment about contributing is a personal experience and the the best thing that we can do is like direct uh, the newcomers to uh, the join sig and the join sig will like take care of the rest by introducing them to the things that they would like to work on uh, Hush, uh, I've dropped the link there. So I believe we are almost out of time. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining.